Did you hear what Iverson said about uh, Jordan versus LeBron? What did he say? He said, uh, this, this, is, this is Iverson's words. He said, LeBron, I think to me, is the best overall basketball player that we'll ever see. If you look in the dictionary and look at basketball player, there'll be a picture of LeBron. But for me, it's so different because Mike was everything to me. He gave me the vision. He, he made me want to play basketball. He's my everything. I, want to actually, I wanted to actually be like him, like the commercial, be like Mike. I really wanted to be him. I'm still starstruck every time I see him. I'm still nervous every time because he's Mike to me. He's my guy. So there'll never be no one atop the list besides Mike. But LeBron is just everything you want to be in a basketball player. He's a total package. He's God's gift to the basketball world. Allen Iverson, uh, one, one of my favorite people. That I am going to steal that quote and say John Sally said it. <laughs> because in our time, I wanted to be, I'm glad he said that, Michael, along with everybody else, wanted to be Dr. J. So mm. Michael worked on his game to incorporate as much Dr. J as he could and then made himself Michael. And I fought him all the time. You know, I always said, man, the greatest player of the time. I said, man, I can't believe they're saying this about you. You can't even swim. You know, and I would- <laughs> Wait, Michael Jordan can't swim? No, I can't swim. And uh, yeah. Wait, for real? Yeah, for real. Uh, he had a bad uh, situation. His best friend got uh, died uh, drowning and all that. So water bottle. Wouldn't that want to make you? No, oh, you're right. Well, well, yeah. Jordan did not know how to swim. He shared that his kids were pretty good swimmers. I watched him <laughs> try to learn to swim. And I was like, he can't even swim. Uh, you know, that's the only thing he can't do. Well, you listen, know what I'm saying? I've, it's I've, like, I've taught my whole family how to swim. Michael, oh, yeah. Michael if you ever want to learn how to swim, come to my house in Calabasas. We'll, See, get, we'll, we'll go to my pool. I'll teach you how to swim in the afternoon. Vlad. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Trust me. My I've, mother, I've taught people how to swim. My mother made me learn bring, how to swim. Bring a set of goggles. That's all I ask. My mother With said. With the goggles, I'll teach you how to swim. You're going to swim, ice skate, and read. Mm. Those are the things she said black people, they said don't do. She made sure I learned how to do it. I don't know if I can still ice skate. I think my brother can. But I, I damn sure I can swim. And it was a lot, too. I was afraid. It was a pool that was 12 feet out in Long Island, out where Chuck was from, out in Manhasset. It was 12 feet deep, and it was the bluest of dark blue you can possibly look at. <laughs> and I remember my cousin Rena and Tony were just jumping in, swimming. And then I just sat on the edge of the one day nobody was at the bar. I sat on the diving board and just fell off the diving board on purpose. Went down, touched the bottom, looked up, swam to the top. And that point on, I was <laughs> never afraid of water.